Hello, my name is Ivo and I've been getting overwhelmed by emails lately. So I decided to check what email clients are actually out there and what is the best one to get through my emails as fast as possible. So let's see what I researched. But before I start, I just want to let you know, I don't have any affiliation with these email programs and there's no advertisements on this video. So I basically just do this to save you some time. And if you want to thank me, you can always click subscribe. Let's see what are the requirements that I have for an email program. Uh, first of all, I spend hours on email every day uh, on my phone and on my desktop. I get hundreds of emails a week for my multiple businesses that I own. So I need to get a way to get through this as fast as possible to save a lot of time. I need for this a smart priority filter. The email client has to choose already for me what is important mail and not important mail. It has to have a good spam filter. I need to be able to see multiple email boxes in one overview, and I need to be able to assign emails and chat about them in the email client without having to send a text message or Slack or whatever. And if it's possible, I would like to have a clean, good looking interface as I'm looking at it the whole day. I like to have clear labeling. Uh, so for example, I want to see if I'm in the CC or BCC or that the email is actually for me. I want to see which inbox it's coming from and I like to work with keyboard shortcuts so it would be nice if they are intuitive. Until now I work with Gmail um, and yeah it looks like this but why am I looking for something else because well there's many good things on Gmail it has a compact overview which makes the amount of emails seem fewer than it actually is there's a smart priority filter if you turn it on in the settings you can filter for important and not important the keyboard is intuitive and it's free, but I cannot view multiple inboxes in one overview, which is a no-go for me as I cannot bother to keep switching accounts all the time. Also, there's no ability to assign others to an email or chat about an email in the program itself. The labels are pretty tiny and the spam filter is not the best. At least I get a lot of requests from random people uh, asking if they uh, can get me some more leads, for example. Then the other most used option is Outlook, which looks like this. Uh, you can have this version or the older Outlook version, which is even more compact and has more options. Um, the good thing is you can see multiple email inboxes in one client. Uh, it has a smart priority filter, which is called focused and other email. There's intuitive keyboard shortcuts and it's free. But the spam filter, at least in my case, it sucks. I get too many spam mails going uh, to my important mailbox. So I'm going crazy. Uh, so that's why I stopped using Outlook. Then the first alternative uh, is called Missive, which is obviously made for teamwork. Um, but it's a little bit messy in my opinion. It's nice that you can chat about emails in the email thread itself and you can even assign people. It's clear when someone assigns me to an email um, and you can also have multiple inboxes, but there is no smart priority filter. So I get too many emails in my face, which I have to sort through. It's also not the most intuitive to learn, which is a problem if I want to implement it in my teams um, because yeah, not everyone is as compatible with uh, technological apps as everyone else. And it's pretty pricey. If you uh, want to see your full email history, you have to pay over $18 per user per month. So that's a no-go for me. Then Polymail is uh, prettier, but worse than Missive. It's uh, similar because you can also chat and assign emails, which is uh, more clear when you are being assigned to an email you get a nice notification um, but also here you don't really have a smart priority filter so too many emails in my face and there's not really clear labels because you can make rules to get a label uh, on an email but the labels are not shown clear enough for me and it's even pricier than this if, if you want to use it to work in the team so also not the best for me Superhuman, yeah, to be honest, I only checked it quickly um, to see what's so different. But the thing I noticed, you have to type in the comments that you want, which for me seems to take longer than pressing a button. And it's the most expensive. So, yeah, uh, I don't really get the hype or the price. Uh, so, skipping that. 
Then there's hay, which is looking different as you can see. Um, and it's really a unique way of working, which I like that they try something new. Um, it's perfect if you just have a personal email box because you can block every user before they get into your email box. So you can select who you're gonna see and also when you want to respond to them. Uh, there's a smart priority filter and the keyboard shortcuts are intuitive when you've learned them and it's relatively cheap at 12 euro or dollar per user per month. But it's too much of a different system to implement in my whole team. So yeah, that's why it's unfortunately not making it, but I like the effort that they do at changing the way we email. And then I checked Spark 3.0, which actually fit most of my requirements. Because uh, the good is, it has a smart priority filter, which actually filters all my newsletters and notifications automatically. That part I really love. Uh, I haven't seen it really being done uh, this good in other email programs. And it also, like, hey, lets you decide if you actually want to let someone email you or Im block them immediately before they get into your mail, which is nice for all the people asking us uh, to, if they can get leads for us. Then there's a multiple email domain overview, uh, colored by domain. It looks pretty nice. My team, also Apple users, uh, yeah, they uh, enjoyed checking it out. And the keyboard shortcuts are pretty intuitive and I can chat with my teammates. Plus, it's one of the cheaper alternatives uh, with a maximum of $6.99 per user per month if you're using it for Teams. And it's cheaper if you don't use it for Teams, but just for yourself. Of course, this sounds really nice, but there's also the bad part um, because I'm not able to actually assign someone uh, to an email. I can just chat to them and it's not that clear. You don't get a separate place where you uh, get a notification on which emails you have been assigned. You do have a shared message list, but you cannot say an email is done, for example, or assigned to someone which is a bummer as it even was in the last version of Spark. So I hope that's coming still in Spark 3.0. Then uh, the labeling and rules are not there, which seems really weird for me for a modern email client. I want to see if someone is BCCing me, CCing me, or actually sending an email to me as the only uh, receiver, because then I will read it uh, with more priority. Yeah, and I just want to make my rules for when something is important to me. Also, I wish the emails could be a bit more compact, like in Gmail, uh, because a few emails look like a lot in this client because of the size. It's uh, really vertically big. And sometimes it seems to load a bit slow for me, but that might just be me. Still, I have switched to Spark 3.0, uh, hoping they will fix these bad things, because then it would be the perfect client. So. I will show you Spark 3.0 now, uh, the way it looks for me, but just letting you know, this is the conclusion of Spark is for me the best combination of overview and collaboration for a fair price. Uh, if you're going away, you don't need to see my inbox and you like this content, you can always buy me a coffee from the link in the description. As I said, other than that, I'm not uh, making any money from advertisements whatsoever. And here is the email inbox. Um, you can see I have multiple domains connected. I can just click on one, see new people that mailed me and let them get into my email box or not. I can also, of course, read the email before I let them uh, get into my box or not. And this tiny thing is perfect because it's splitting the notifications from the emails from people, and even the newsletters. So that saves a lot of time. I can just check them in a, at a glance and press done on all the notifications and emails that I'm getting, which saves some time. And like I said, I can add people to a conversation and then chat to them in the email thread. So that works well. Um, only thing is, as I said, said is the receiver will get uh, in his shared messages box. He will see the mail, but like, I do now, you don't see the fact that you have a shared message or that someone is trying to share something with you. So yeah, that should really make that more clear if they want teams to work in this program. Well, 
that's it for my short presentation. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, good luck doing your own further research or trying Spark.